You know, part of the fun in traveling is buying things. And when you travel around the world like I do, you really learn how to bargain with the shopkeepers. It's all part of the fun of a holiday. The number one rule is never pay the price they ask. Now watch how I handle this. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir. Uh, yes, sir. How much is this hat? Uh, two ninety-five, sir. Oh, I couldn't possibly pay less than three fifty. Uh, All right, four fifty. Well, sir. It's okay, not... I couldn't pay a penny less than five ninety-five. Uh, would you like to buy a lemon for twelve dollars? You know, the people here have a real sense of humor about their new tower. They say jokes like, oh, it's so powerful, they still get the Ed Sullivan Show live. Or, uh, there's enough concrete in that tower to fill all of Burt Lancaster's cavities. Or, uh, see, that tower's so tall, it has trouble getting dates. Or, that tower grew up so fast, now its clothes don't fit. Or, there's enough concrete in that tower to sink the entire mafia to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> well, those Torontonians have a great sense of humor. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. I think you have a message for me, Steve Martin. No, sir, no messages. Well, I was expecting a big message. I could have sworn there was a message here for me. Of all the historical places here in Toronto, perhaps none is more exciting than this. This is the greatest landing in the history of aviation. No wonder this ship doesn't work. Look where they put the propellers. There's nothing I like better than the challenge of riding the rapids. Welcome to Ontario Science Center where every year more than a million people come to learn about the miracles of science by actually taking part in them. It's a great place for kids, so come with me as we play with science. Good evening. I'm Dr. Casmo and Pale. It was while studying in India at the University of Rajpur that I first realized my interest in inventions. Look, isn't it exciting? Isn't it wild? One of my greatest inventions. I call it a shoehorn. I brought you here to show you one of Toronto's most talked about restaurants, Ed's Warehouse. I'm all dressed up because it's a very special kind of restaurant. But, sir, you must have a tie on. Oh, but I do have a tie on. Oh, yes. Step right this way. Thank you. Right this way, please.
What a meal. <laughs> it's ridiculous to eat that much. <laughs> you know, the same man who owns that restaurant I just ate in also bought this entire street, and he put in little antique stores and little art galleries and little French restaurants, you know, and it's, it's so cute here. It's just, it's just like a little movie set. It's just like being in a movie. In fact, I feel like I'm about to be in a movie. Whoa! Oh, I think I'm getting happy feet. Somewhere, Fred Astaire is spitting up. <sighs> okay, so I can't dance. <laughs> it's getting so a guy can't have any fun anymore. What does the moose know about dancing anyway? You're no huffer. Of all the sights here in Toronto, none is more unusual than Ontario Place, a 96-acre cultural and leisure complex located on the North Main Road in the entire universe. So I just thought I'd come here and have a good time. Just really enjoy myself. I came here to relax and have a good time on the end of the engagement. Fool around with me, you overgrown stuffed animals. I come back here. Yee wee! Yee haw! Yee haw! Well, boy, I'm having a great time here, and you are too, too. Get them up, Scout. And perhaps only I will know the truth. What This is Laron, the antique carousel. It's over a hundred years old. It's fantastic. Everybody, have a good time here in Laron. I'm frightened. <laughs> This is Laron, the antique carousel. It's over 3,000 years old. It was brought here when ancient Egypt was just a budding little country. It's worth over $12 billion. Of course, I'm not enjoying this because this is strictly for kids. So I'm not having a good time, and I'm sure that no one else out here is having a great time.